to Who Wants to Be a Thousandaire. Today we have Ceci Lopez. How are you doing today, Ceci? Pretty good. That sucks. Time for the questions. Okay. Question number one, the $100 question. Okay. What is the biggest? A, an elephant, B, the moon, C, an acorn, or D, a flower? Tough question. You have lifeline if you need them. I don't think I need a lifeline just yet, but I'm gonna go with B, the moon. That is correct. You have won a hundred dollars. Congratulations. <laughs> now a two hundred dollar question. What is the square root of sixty-nine? A forty-three. B ten. C eight something. Or D fifty-four. <clears throat> well, that's easy. A sign, right? Because I've been trying to work it out all. Um, that is correct. $300 question. What are the Pentagon Papers? A. Documents concerning U.S. involvement in Vietnam. B. A baseball home plate. C. Paper with five sides. Or D. A geometry test. I'm gonna go with A, final answer. That is correct, congratulations. Now, $400 question. Who wrote the Pentagon Papers? A, Robert McNamara. B, <laughs> Mrs. Cruza. C, Dr. Seuss. Or D, Obama. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go with A, with the guy with the weird last name. That is correct. Now, for the $500 question, how did the lower courts rule in the New York Times versus the United States case? A, yes. B, no. C, they went back and forth. Or D, they found it too boring and left it alone. I'm going to go with C, final answer. That is correct. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, the $600 question. What is the leading product? Stinking ink. Final answer. Correct. Now, for the $700 question, who finally got a hold of the Pentagon Papers? A. China. B. Cuba. C. The New York Times. Or D. The Wind Channel. Well, I'm kind of torn between two answers. The Wind Jammer and the New York Times. Well, we don't have much time. Okay, so well, I think I'm going to go with C, the New York Times. That is correct. Congratulations. Yes! Now, for the $800 question. Who is the best government teacher at Mayfair? A, Mr. Getty. B, Mrs. Cruza. C, Mr. Jacobsma. Or D, Coach Fitch. Well, I don't really know who Mr. Jacobsma is. So I'm gonna go with B, Miss Cruza. Ooh, sorry, got that oh, one. Oh my Everybody god. Does it. Thanks for trying. I'm gonna get off stage. Now for our next contestant, Alex Trujillo. How are you doing today, Alex? I'm good, thank oh, you. Oh, time you for our commercial break. We'll be back later. Making people fit with your hideous stench? Oh. Then try a new product, Stink a Day! Wow! With ordinary shoes, the odor will never go away! Oh. But with Stink a Day, just one push of a button, the odor instantly disappears! No more making people faint again! With a push of one button!
Supreme Court as the verdict is about to be read on the case of the New York Times versus the United States. In this case, New York Times has gotten their hands on, depend on the Pentagon Papers. The Pentagon Papers is a top secret U.S. Department of Defense document containing the history of the U.S.'s involvement in Vietnam. According to the Times, these papers have shown that the Johnson administration lied to both Congress and to the public. Naturally, the government didn't like the idea of the Times or anyone having these, these documents, much less wanting to publish them. Here and now, we have one side of the argument arguing that this shouldn't be published because it would inhibit the government's ability to run effectively. The other side says that absolutely nothing should conflict with the First Amendment right to freedom of press. Excuse me. I'm hearing that the verdict has just been read. Ladies and gentlemen, with a vote of 6 to 3, the verdict is for the New York Times. This vote is due to the fact that the government has not given sufficient reason for prior restraint. In fact, concurring opinion says that the content of the Pentagon Papers or any other thing is immaterial. Now, this is Pomodoro Bubblegum. Pomodoro, when you first heard, heard about this case, what was your opinion? Um, I actually agree with the court, and I think they should have spent more time looking at the case. I don't think the government should hide any, anything from us. The reason that the government is there at all is because of the people, and including the press. Um, you know, they, should have some, they should have some form of power over the government. That makes sense. Uh, what, did you, what did you learn from this case? Um, I learned that they're pretty desperate. The government? Um, yeah. Um, trying to, like, trying their hardest to hide something like that. I don't think they should hide anything from us at all. You know? We're right under them. They should tell us everything that we need to know. Just kidding, you know, because where we live is our place, United States. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think that, if anything, our leaders should be our most trusted people. Yeah. Thank you, Pomodoro. You're welcome. Back to you, Nick. Oh, mm -hmm.